Hey there, and welcome to another video collab. This week's video collab with Leslie Logan of Leslie Logan Pilates and Profitable Pilates uh, is on the short box. And we're gonna look at it in two places, on the reformer, which I'll link to those videos in the description box below. And then today I'm gonna look at it on the ladder barrel. I dearly love the short box on the ladder barrel. And, um, and so today we'll talk about some strategies, some reasons why you might want to bring it here. But first I want to say a wonderful, warm welcome to all of the Hong Kong YouTube subscribers. I met you recently and I can't thank you enough for all your warmth. And I had no idea that there were as many people watching my videos in Hong Kong. I'm so, so glad to hear that they help you understand the exercises and have a little fun along the way as well. So, this one is for you guys. We worked on this short box on the barrel in the barrels workshop. And so if you want a little refresher on how that went, or if you weren't the body working on the barrel, um, you'll have this video to reference as well. Um, let's get started. Here we are at the barrel and you'll start with your feet pretty much like they are under the strap on the reformer. And the beautiful thing about the barrel version of the short box versus the reformer version of the short box is you get a little bit different support. So in some ways, the connection is more helpful in one place and some in other ways, the connection is more helpful in the other location for the short box. Here, you get the luxury of something to push your heels into and on the reformer, you have the strap, but you have to kind of create that reach of the heels into essentially nothing. And here you get a little sense of what that feels like. Um, for the first one, which is the round shape, you want to position yourself. This is a Graz barrel and the distance between here and here is 22 inches. And there are these little bolts on the side and you want to kind of sit between them at first. And you're doing that so that when you roll over the barrel, you can use lift instead of sink and you can end up with your low back kind of supported by the apex of the barrel. So kind of right there for me. And if you need to do that little like, hey, where am I going moment, feel free, because then you'll sort of know over time where to get on and you won't have to do that anymore. So one of the things that are, is harder here is it's easy to kind of be sinky because you're sitting on something that's round and not a flat surface. So you still want to feel like you have, you know, that stomach massage lift in there. And then the heels pushing are going to help you use your bottom so that hopefully as you go backward, the back of you changes, but the lower body remains the same. So your legs should not straighten and bend. Your seat should work the whole time. And then the other lovely thing is that if you have parts of your back that don't like to do what you want them to do, here you can pay attention to what touches the barrel and what you would like to touch the barrel that maybe doesn't yet, like all of the upper back. Ugh. Yes, grunting is optional. <laughs> it's my favorite activity. I'm gonna do one more. So five of these if you go back halfway and then lift back up. And three if you go all the way back. And you know, ugh. if that feels nice, we're gonna do actually one more. So another benefit of the push is, you know, on the barrels, we don't have springs. So if you imagine that your heels get to push into the spring, if you will, and that can help you to lift up the top of you as you push against the resistance. It's not really resistance, but you're creating that. So let's do one more. So I'm going to push and on the barrel, you can even feel like you're kind of trying to drag yourself, your lift way far away from the lower body. And then try not to lose your heels because you're going to curl up, you're going to push, and you're going to lift your whole self right back up again. Woo, that was fun. Okay, so now make sure you have a pole nearby. For the next few exercises, you're going to move your seated part, or your seated position, up to just shy of the top of the barrel. So you don't want to be like, you know, on the downward slope, shall we say, but you'll just be right nestled against the top. You can use a pole or you can put your hands like this if you've arrived on the barrel stranded without a pole. And then use the same little lift 
that you get from pushing into your heels and lifting your bottom. And you're just going to lift up and you're going to push and return. And again, you want to use your bottom so that you're hoping that the bend of your legs, let's see, uh, doesn't change. And then you'll do side to side. Three sets side to side. And then we'll do three sets of twist. And you're still staying in that same spot. And then really push into both heels evenly. Push and lift yourself back again. And I can't count, so I'm going to do one more set. And then if you do around the world, you can do that here as well. I lost my butt on that one. Oh, I think that was better. Okay, so now you've done your round, your reach, your side, your twist, and your around the world. You're going to now relocate again back to between those two bolts. So somewhere halfway down the side if you're on a barrel that doesn't have that same markation. Demarcation, I think is the word I was looking for. <laughs> um, and so now you're going to do the tree. So again, you're kind of all closed up. And if you're someone who's sinky, you know who you are. Uh, lift up, because again, this is the challenging part to stay tall as you stretch your leg. And then lift up your sinky back. <laughs> I'm talking to myself as well. <laughs> and then use control as you place yourself foot to the ceiling, ready to do your tree. You have a few options. You can do exactly what you do on the reformer. Again, you're going to push on that heel and haul yourself way over the barrel. Ah. And first you can just go back normally. And then pick your head up, push on your heel, and lift up like spine stretch forward over your leg. And then you're going to go back again. This time, if it's available to you and you get all the way down, you'd like to hang out for a moment. You can extend your leg if you're short. Uh, and if you're short, you can also put this barrel here or a moon box or something for the leg circle in a moment. If you are tall, <laughs> again, you know who you are. You won't need that box. And then let's go back for the leg circle. Oh, stand on your hands. Stand on your feet. You're trying to push straight down so that you don't push whatever it is that you have there away from you. You take your last stretch. And the only thing that doesn't really work here is this across stretch. Um, I suppose you could do it, but it's a little bit like, you know, you don't have space to lift up and stretch. Eh. It still feels okay. You could leave it out or, I don't know, you could probably do it. <laughs> and then same on the left leg, lift up the back. Stretch over your leg. Ugh, keep your lift. And then again, pull yourself away from that heel so you stretch further over the barrel. And remember that this is, this going down and up is essentially the roll up with the barrel underneath you. So when you take your arms back, they're going to go overhead. Oh. If this is a big stretch in your hip, enjoy. Hmm. And then that means that you're not going to take your arms around. That's the roll up. So they're going to go up and then you're going to come up. And then lastly, we'll go down for the leg circle. Position my barrel to be in the right spot. Oh. 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 
go up and get your toes, slide and stretch forward yourself over your leg. And then since I did that stretch on the other side, I'll do it here too. Just try to make yourself go up, up, up in the back and over like you're trying to lift yourself up by the ribs and go up and then straight down. Oh, okay. So any questions or comments about these, these exercises, please do leave me a comment. If you want to join our collab and you are a Pilates teacher with a YouTube channel, let me know and we'll get you the exercises we're going to work on and the dates that we're going to publish. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and become a subscriber if you'd like to see more videos like this, more nerdy exercise tutorials <laughs> where I'm out of breath and smiling a lot. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I love you, Hong Kong. Thank you. Bye. Look to place my low back kind of at the apex of the barrel and so that I can still feel it have the tailbone reaching down so I still have access to my seat. This part of the body that's kind of stationary really has to support this big lift of the upper body. So I'm going to imagine that my waistline reaches all the way down.